Hi, my name is Dan Blacko. I am currently a student here at Townsville High School North. I am a three-sport varsity athlete with football, winter, and spring track. I currently have a 3.4 GPA, and I got nominated to be a heart of a giant. He's got a big heart, and uh, you know he loves people and he loves life. Nominated Darren Blackwell uh, for the Heart of a Giant Award uh, because you know he kind of you know symbolizes everything that you would want in a leader of your football program. Darren is a guy who sacrifices for the football team. Uh, when he was a sophomore, he didn't have a starting role, so you know at that point he had never not started before in, in, in his athletic career, and I could see he was a little frustrated. And we moved him due to injury to a position on the defensive line. Uh, and he was a little undersized at that time. And he flourished there. And we wound up going, uh, winning 10 straight, winning the state championship. And in that state championship, he was the best player. And it was his commitment to the team and to us as a staff and to his teammates. He is the heart and the pulse of our team, of our school, of our senior class, within our community. Just the, the very essence of uh, somebody who motivates, stimulates, and promotes a positive atmosphere. He's one of those people that when you're around him, he makes you, he brings out the best in you. And, uh, and, I, and, I, and that's probably the best compliment I can give Darren. I, there's no doubt wherever he goes, he'll be successful academically. Uh, he'll make a lot of friends and he'll have an impact on those folks that are fortunate enough to meet him and uh, become friends with him. Growing up, Darren, Darren's natural father uh, wasn't there and um, he was able to allow me to come into his life and to help him. And I mean by being a, a surrogate type of father, but I fell in love with him because uh, there was nobody around like him. I mean, his enthusiasm and his joy and his outlook on life and perspective was um, was just so motivating to me. It made me every day get up and 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 um, it made me look at life in a more enthusiastic way because he was just so positive. My son, Darren Blackwell, Darren Michael Blackwell, he is the type of kid that you would want your kid to be. I want Darren to get the happiness that he has brought me for the last 17 years of his life. I want Darren to go out and just do what he wants to do, which he wants to play. He loves football. He loves people. He loves track. That's what I want for Darren. I just want Darren to be happy. People always say I have the heart of a giant, and I finally realized why people say that and how I am I am. And it's because when I was younger, I didn't really have a father figure in my life. I didn't really have someone to go outside and tell me I'm doing a good job when I'm playing sports or even in the classroom telling me I'm doing all right. I, I didn't really have that. I, I did have my mom. She's a, she, she, she's a superior. I love her to death. But for a young male, it's, re it's really tough not having that, fig that, that figure in your life. Um, in, my, in my case, I, I felt like I wasn't loved. I felt like I, I wasn't good enough for him. I felt like I, I wasn't a mistake. It really hit me, it really hit me hard. I'm part of Big Brother's Big Sisters. I think it really pushed me towards that because these kids go through so much stuff with parents and family and they always just feel like there's no one there. And I remember feeling like that and it's horrible. It's the worst feeling in the world. And if I can fix that for a six year old or a 10 year old or a five year old, then that, that, that love that I was once looking for when I was younger, I, 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 I found it. It's, it. That's the love I still have. Uh, the top three things I play football for? It's a great question. Um, honestly, obviously I love the sport. That's, that's my number one thing. I love the sport. I love the contact. I love everything that to do about it. The second and third thing kind of kind of counteract each other. Um, the second thing has to be family. Uh, every time I make, I make a new, every time I get a new team, it's like a new part of my family has been added or I've met. You know that goes that goes a long way with me. And the third thing is the uh, coaching, the coaches I meet. Uh, each coach I met over the years, even though I, I felt like 
I wasn't good enough for them. They always made it, went out their way to make sure I was with them, all the, with the team, with the team, when I, I was fitting in, I was doing everything that was right. They always went out their way to make sure I was, I was okay. I would love to play for NFL, you know, get drafted, make some, make, make some big money, buy my mom a house, pay all her bills, take my grandma in with us, buy her, t take care of my godfather, you know, take care of my family, buy me a nice little house, get me a little, get me a little dog or something, you know. I want, I want to take this, this, this ride as far as I can, you know. And if it doesn't work out that way, then maybe I could coach, you know. I'm not done with football for a very, very long time. I've known Darren since we were three years old playing rec league soccer, and he's been my best friend ever since. He's always there for you when you need him. Like over the summer when my dad went into the hospital having a stroke and I didn't have a car, he drove me at 11.30 at night just to go and see him because he felt it was important for him to go up there and see my dad too. Probably one of the main things that I've learned from Darren over all of the years of knowing him is hard work, dedication, that's what will take you far in life. He's the first one I practice for football every single day and he's the last one to leave. During the games, if someone makes a mistake, he's the first one there to tell them that it's okay and that just get him next time. And if you do something good, he's the first one there to congratulate you. Actually has the heart of a giant because he is a giant, but he cares so much about every single person that crosses his path, his teammates, his coaches, friends, family. Everybody is important to him and he makes them feel that. He makes them feel like they're special, like they are the most important person in his life. We were playing against a, a team up in North, Northern Jersey, Raritan uh, Rockets, um, and the night before, uh, one of Raritan's uh, team members uh, committed suicide. Uh, we found out about it the morning of the game. Um, we were speaking to our team about it and we noticed um, that Darren had walked across the field and uh, we were watching him and he went up to the coaches. He grabbed the coach's hand and shook their hand and, and hugged him and told them that he was sorry. That just speaks of the type of character uh, and individual that Darren Blackwell is. Anything that he put his mind to, he will accomplish, and he has accomplished. And for that, I just, I'm so very proud of him, and I love him dearly. After graduating high school, I plan on going to a four-year college and studying sports medicine and continuing my football career. I am so honored that I've been nominated for the Heart of a Giant Award, and I'm very thankful for you watching my video.